mathematics, the study of quantity, space, structure, change, analysis, and more. It is known to be the abstract science of numbers. Math may be studied on its own, known as pure math, or studied in other disciplines, known as applied math. Look around you, what do you see? Things, right? Objects like houses, cars, chairs, and tables. These were all created with the aid of mathematics. Is math only seen in man-made things? No. Look around at natural objects with patterns like spider webs, flowers, leaves, and more. These patterns are examples of mathematics present in our everyday lives that are natural. Let us now go beyond what is visible in our world and look at the outer space. See how there are numbers of stars and planets. How these things are shaped and formed and even spaced from each other seems so unnatural. But this is something done with the aid of math, as the positioning of these astral bodies are perfect in proportion, just like their size and shapes. Let us go further to the smaller world. Notice our molecular structures and that of others. There is math involved in all that too. Measurements have huge dependence on math. As it involves numbers, we could be measuring length or we could be measuring width both of pitch numbers and the tools that we need to have. And we can also measure weight. Here we are at the gym. The weights in the gym are labeled by numbers. These numbers signify the counted quantities of how heavy each weight is, how hard it can be to carry them, and the intensity of the workout. Math is also in economics. Ever had money? Ever thought of spending, saving, earning, investing money? Well, all that involves math. When we buy from a store, we compute how much we have and how much we will spend. When we save, we think and calculate how much we can save for a period of time. How about time? Does time involve math? Yes, it does. Every day. Our minute and second are all counted by numbers. As we know, there are 24 hours a day, 60 minutes an hour, and 60 seconds a minute. We can measure time universally. Another example of mathematics in everyday life is in the form of a Rubik's Cube. The Rubik's Cube is a certain puzzle, a three-dimensional puzzle, that comprises of squares and bricks and blocks. These blocks are turned around in different positions, and the colors are jumbled. The Rubik's Cube can be arranged in about 43 quintillion different sorts of positions. And with these positions, the solver must identify how to solve the cube into the one solved state. Solving the cube also takes time as a timer would time the person on how fast he or she can solve the rubik's cube. Lastly, we'll explain the Fibonacci sequence, developed by Leonardo of Pisa, later known as Fibonacci. This is a special sequence in math. Basically, it is a sequence wherein the next number is found by adding up the two numbers before it. So, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on. The formula for that will be To sum it all up, math is important, math is everywhere, math is indispensable, and math helps the world stay the way it is and it even helps the world progress.